If Amazon, you know, if Amazon could just reclaim this 50-day moving average, this thing has a shot to get to get the 30. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, Wednesday edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So what a day, right? What a difference uh, one day makes. Um, yesterday, I, I, I literally felt like I just wanted to slam my head against the wall. Uh, incredibly frustrating, ridiculous chop factor. Uh, again, not enough fear for the market to go down, not enough aggression for the market to go up. Um, then you had that cherry on top that we talked about, Trump talking about, well, you know, maybe let's not maybe do a stimulus deal until after the election. The market sold off. And then he kind of had a change of heart. Again, um, you know, is it an ethical thing? Is it a non-ethical thing? You know, he, again, he kind of knows what he's doing with this whole Twitter thing. Um, and the most amazing part was whatever happened yesterday into the close was just a, an erase memory came into today. And if you look at the scoreboard, pretty impressive. You saw the Dow uh, up 500 and change. Uh, and this time around at two o'clock, we didn't get any headlines that was gonna spoof the market. Again, we had the Fed minutes. Uh, they really didn't say anything that was earth shattering one way or another. And I think the bulls uh, finally you know, got very, very comfortable. And kind of we're, we're, we're right where we wanted to be. The same conversation that we had already went once, twice, three times, this is conversation number four. We're kind of back to this top of the range here. And I think it's very, very important to understand uh, what has happened the last several times. You know, we've got to this top of the range, uh, this roughly 3430 area on the S&P. Uh, and again, it keeps on getting rejected off the number. If you can see here, one top, two top, three tops, right? So eventually you have to believe that if we have enough juice and staying power and start consolidating more, eventually we're going to get through. And if you look at the QQQs, we're kind of looking exactly the same thing, right? Here are the Qs, and you know we're kind of looking at the same thing. This whole top of the channel here, as, as much as it's not as dramatic as, as the SPX, you can see here several times it's gotten rejected at this 282 level uh, several times. So we really need to reclaim, you know, let's just call it 282, uh, 283 on the close. Again, we're getting here. And what's, what's really cool about what we're seeing, especially into tomorrow's session, is the stocks that are already broken out, right? The names like CRM uh, that we talked about, that 249 level for, for a long, long time, it's in the middle of a nice breakout. A stock like FSLY that broke out about, about 100 had a really, really monster day today, right? Really big day. Roku that broke out uh, recently over uh, the $201 area. These stocks are doing very, very well. But the key right now is for the Main Street names, uh, the Teslas of the world, the Amazons of the world, the Apples of the world, um, to really start waking up. Now, if they can start waking up, that's when we can start really testing those upper channels. And if they start confirming uh, those upper levels in the queues uh, and the, in the SPX, and again, without any, uh, any media bombs, Twitter fingers, or anything else in between, I think we could be setting up for higher prices. Again, easier said than done. It has to actually do it. And again, every single day we come in, we have a plan, right? But until that plan actually plays out, it's just a plan. And today, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I, you know, I, I thought we might have another very choppy session today. Um, I did like the one thing I did really, really like, as much as we were churning around, the, the, the market kept on holding rising support. And I think that's the most important part. Uh, when Trump came out with the COVID news, the queues went to the rising 10-day support and held. Uh, when you saw news yesterday hit, right, with Trump tweets, it traded back down to the 10-day moving average and, and, and rallied right, and, and really bounced off that. So at least we knew technically that we were fine. Again, that can change uh, snap of the fingers, but at least we knew we were fine. And what I think is going to happen for tomorrow's session, we really need to see the really big gorillas of the tech world to wake up, right? And if you look at where the cues are, okay, stone throws away, from kind of testing this channel. And you're gonna notice a lot of the same, you know, same things with names 
like Amazon, right? Amazon is literally one day away from reclaiming this whole channel, okay? If you look at Tesla, okay, this could be huge. Like, look at Tesla, right? Here's the mini downtrend, right? And it kept on, keeps on getting rejected off the five-day moving average. If Tesla starts reclaiming the five-day moving average, again, you could see where the next potential is. So there's a lot of names that look very, very close. The one name that is really throwing me off is ZM. And the reason why I say that if you guys notice, uh, there's been a lot of really aggressive COVID news has been, has been out for the last couple of days. I believe France had a ag really aggressive uh, volume spike in COVID cases. And just when you think Zoom is about to come out of this channel, if you notice the, if you notice the channel on Zoom looks very similar to Netflix, uh, excuse me, to Tesla. You see that? If you look at the same formation, you see how Tesla keeps on getting rejected off the five day? And so does Zoom. The only difference is Tesla is Tesla and Zoom is Zoom. Something has to give on Zoom, okay? I, I think there's a two-way setup uh, setting up here either for tomorrow or the next day. But I do know this. These channels, and this is a fake wick, but these channels are getting very, very tight. I, I have to believe Zoom, and I know this is going to sound a little stupid to say, but Zoom is really going to have a very, very aggressive up move or it's going to have a very aggressive down move. And I think patience is the key here. And the most important part is if it can confirm the 5 8 to the downside, you have room to 454. If it confirms back to the upside, you have room all the way back to the 52 highs of 531. So that one we have to be a little bit more patient on. The key is names like Apple. You know, again, we're not close to breaking out, but again, it's very, very close at least to breaking these three, day, three days of selling. And that will be very, very important. Names like Square, who already broke out, is kind of consolidating. So we're kind of set up. Again, we're not out of the woods, but we are kind of set up uh, for tomorrow's session in the big cap names. Uh, you'll see today, uh, this is my focal point of, of the day today. Uh, they got upgraded today, street high. Uh, price target. This is my focal point of the day. Really, really great trade. Really great trade on Netflix. Uh, broke out today. And you can see if Netflix goes, then they should follow, right? You got Amazon on deck. You got Tesla on deck. Uh, Apple still needs maybe another day or so, but it, it's very, very close. Uh, NVIDIA now is consolidating for a couple of days, although it's already broken out. It's at least starting to consolidate, okay? Really consolidating for maybe the next leg up. So again, I'm very optimistic for tomorrow that we can get some pretty good value uh, to the upside. But like I say, every single day until it actually plays out, you have to stay very, very patient and wait for the green light for technical confirmation. So uh, let's talk about today's session. Um, cool feature, okay? Uh, really, really cool feature uh, that I didn't realize uh, existed on Twitter. Um, they have kind of like this recording tool, which is pretty cool. And I started playing around with it today on the private Twitter feed. For all you guys who are not on the live webinar, you guys don't have the ability to, you know, kind of, I speak seven hours a day live in, in, in the live webinar. And for all you guys who are just getting the Twitter feed, you guys don't have my thoughts. So I started making, uh, I started making a couple, I made three today. I made three videos today uh, that I recorded the video, my initial thoughts in the morning, uh, the 10 o'clock, then I had another one here. I uh, recorded another mid-morning update, and then I recorded one more here uh, in the afternoon session just to give you guys an understanding of what my thought process is, because uh, again, you guys are not on a live webinar, what my thought process is going into the day, what we're seeing, uh, what we're seeing with value kind of mid-morning, and where we are kind of set up for the next day. So a really cool feature, so I will start uh, implementing that every single day, you know, I know you guys a lot got. I know you guys liked it because I got a lot of really good feedback about it. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. So let's talk about uh, the pivots for today. Uh, Tulo again continue, continues to be a big uh, big mover. Uh, two ninety nine needs to build. Uh, here was Tulo, right? Here was the two ninety nine. It confirmed literally the whole linear regression line. Went to like three oh seven. Really big move on Tulo. Uh, ZM again. Something got to give here. Uh, Alibaba is just one of the mysteries of the world. Um, it went up, went up like 50 cents, nothing, you know, and I said experienced traders only because again, Alibaba trades kind of funky, only went up 50 cents and then kind of did nothing for the rest of the day. Uh, this was my, uh, this was definitely my big trade of the day. Uh, Netflix 522, 523 needs to build. Uh, Netflix, not only did it take out the previous channel, it also took out uh, 530, which is the high from uh, September the 1st, excuse me, October the 1st, 
and closed at uh, nearly the high of the day. I, you know, there's a shot this week. It still gets to the five uh, 557 level if the market can continue building on what we saw today. So really great move on Netflix. Uh, JD, JD, we saw a lot of really big aggressive uh, November November 80 call buyers. There was about $2 million worth of premium laid out. Uh, didn't go today, okay? Uh, I think it only went up like 40, 50 cents. Didn't go today. But it's something, guys, you definitely want to keep an eye out uh, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, Square, basically 181 needs to build. Again, this was only a cash flow setup uh, just because, again, we, we were uncertain what was going on. So here is the 181 here, and it traded right perfectly into supply. That's what I mean, just a cash flow trade into the next supply. So about a $2 move there as well. Uh, Tesla, nothing there yet. Uh, nothing there yet. Hopefully that will change by tomorrow. Uh, NVIDIA 560 rejected several times, needs to build, right? Semiconductors were very, very strong. So here is the 560, right, right here, 560, 560. It broke this 560 area, traded uh, all the way up to 565. Again, you could start seeing mid-morning a lot of names really starting to firm up uh, and get aggressive. Uh, Penn never got to the 67 level. And I kept on saying for the morning, before everything got really aggressive, I kept on saying, listen, you might want to tear down your size based on yesterday's action. But once things started going aggressive, you could, you could clearly, quickly see a change in sentiment very, very quickly from yesterday's uh, chop session. So big move on the video. Uh, too low, uh, take on the way up. Again, beautiful move. Just a really beautiful move on Netflix. I still like it for tomorrow. Uh, Amazon, you know, looks great. Uh, Amazon, uh, 3172, 3173 needs to build. And here was Amazon. Uh, exploded, closed pretty much at the high of the day. Uh, closed around 3200. If Amazon, you know, if Amazon could just reclaim this 50-day moving average, this thing has a shot to get to get the 3260s tomorrow. So, Fingers crossed that everything kind of holds up here. Uh, DraftKings never got to uh, never got to the 52-week low, 52-week uh, area. Uh, JD again, only a 40, 50 cent move there. Nothing really big there. Uh, CRM, nice move again. The stock broke out at 249. Uh, confirmed today again, 258 level needs to build. Again, I still think there's there's a higher move coming into this thing. Uh, so here is the whole 258 level, and it closed uh, right under 261. So nice little move there on CRM. So Tesla, blah 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 blah. Mid morning update. Uh, DDOG got to the, didn't quite get to the level. Got to like 109 and change. Uh, so I still like that 110 level. Uh, Netflix, again, it, it, huge, right? 530 is the next big area, and it took that out, went to 537. Uh, pushing highs, and that is about it, right? That is about it. So, uh, look, we're set up for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know macro-wise are we going to start reclaiming major levels, but what I do like, number two, two things. The bulls are incredibly resilient. On any, map, on any headline news, we keep on testing that rising 10-day moving average and keeping on bouncing. And right now, again, we are in the sweet spot. Again, levels that you definitely want to watch for tomorrow. Uh, any Again, any close on SPX uh, over uh, 30, what was it, 34, 34, uh, excuse me, 30, yeah, 3430 is super bullish. And any close tomorrow on the queues, above this 283 starts the next leg up. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Like I said yesterday, short memory, back on the horse today, and God's willing, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.